Hi again, here's another detailed view of the underside of that potter's wheel made out of a car tire. Uh, what we're looking at, at first it's a two inch cast iron floor flange. You can get these at Home Depot. Then at about a six inch length of uh, two inch iron pipe that just screws into uh, the floor flange. Uh, don't know if I mentioned it. I bolted mine, used uh, decking screws and four decking screws, screwed this into an oak stump that weighs about uh, 200 pounds, so that's not going to be going anywhere. And the part, the important part that uh, the wheel fastens to is here. It's another two inch cast iron floor flange. You can get these at uh, at Home Depot. A couple of, uh, actually four half inch bolts. They're probably three inches long is what just what I happen to have on hand and uh, half inch nuts and these bolts fortunately on a year 2000 Montana rear wheel assembly uh, they'll line up just the way you need them to on this floor flange just run four bolts through here uh, they don't go uh, in real even but it doesn't matter this doesn't have to be running level this is just to mount your your wheel with all your leveling is you do that when you center your clay and then of course this part uh, that just screws into the the top part of that uh, iron pipe so I hope this detail helps you a little bit um, just a matter of, uh, of tightening these bolts down and uh, and you've got a, a solid unit to, uh, if you spend more than five minutes putting this together shame on you <laughs> I like to build stuff quick quick and easy no welding no sawing no cutting all you need is just a half inch wrench and a, a screwdriver so uh, have fun